back with more Drover sports and more Drover soccer on this week's show. Senior Danny Gibson has shined for the last four years on the Drover soccer team and is eager to continue that success in his final season at USAO. The Drovers have a chance to make history this year, but first they'll have to battle through some tough injuries. Let's hear from Danny right now. This is In the Saddle. <laughs> Let's get ready to rumble! Hi and welcome to another edition of In the Saddle with Drover Sports. Our guest this week, Daniel Gibson. He's a senior midfielder with the USAO soccer team all the way from Glasgow, Scotland. And Danny, thanks for joining us on the program. Thanks, now, talk to us a little bit about you and Frank Gibson from the same town, but uh, not related, but end up playing soccer at USAO. Yeah, me and Frank, um, we both arrived here about uh, four years ago. We're both seniors now. Um, and we never actually met before we came over here. Um, both same same second name, same surname, Gibson. We stay around five minutes from each other um, back in Glasgow, but never bumped into each other. We know a lot, a lot of common friends, but we never met each other. So it's it's funny how we have to come to Oklahoma to meet to meet another Gibson. But I often it's a common mistake. I get mistaken for his little brother. He's better looking little brother, but um, <laughs> we're just good friends. We've become good friends over the years in college. Played at different high schools, and you're not really sure if you might have played against each other in high school. Or yeah, I mean his high school was. I, I literally have to walk past it to get to my high school, so we were really close next to each other. Um, but we, I don't think we competed against each other in high school. We also, with a club football, we both played um, in the same league, so I think we might have maybe played against each other. He probably kicked me a few times on the field, but I, I don't, I don't recall playing against him now. Great game yesterday, or competitive game anyway, up at Mid America Christian. Uh, Drovers win 1-0 in double overtime about a minute left in the second overtime you're close to uh, finishing up with a tie yeah. talk about the goal that uh, jack norman scored and and set that up for us yeah it was a, it was a huge relief really when the when the goal went in it was um it was a tough game for us we never really hit the heights that um are expected of us we, i mean we, we we played well and we competed with them we just um it wasn't really happening up front for us we weren't creating that chance we weren't really having that correct movement to to create a goal, um, and it, it really didn't look like it was going to come. I think we had four corners in a row before Ricky managed to, to stick the ball in the back of the net. And it was it was more a feeling of relief because I, I think it would have been a major disappointment if we had you know um, if it had finished a tie. Uh, but it was the positive as it's a it's a win on the road, um, and it, we were just glad to get it in the end. And especially playing without one of your best players, David Otiano, who's out with a, a sprained knee and may be out another week or so, right? Yeah, yeah. it looks like I think he has another a week, two weeks to go in his recovery, but hopefully we can get him back. We've kind of, I wouldn't say we've lost our way, but we've, we're kind of struggling up, up front for um, that little creative spark. Um, now, Crick yesterday, he, he had a really good game and he's, he's the one we kind of rely on to create things for us. And David's obviously a big part of that as well. And we're, we're just trying to, Figure, figure it out for ourselves right now up top who's going to be the scorer. So hopefully we can get David back as soon as possible and get the, get us going again, really. In the middle of a three-game road trip, started with the first two games at home, but now three games on the road, and you might have a couple of other injured players you might have to contend with too. So uh, the rest of the team's going to have to kind of uh, come together and, and play without those guys, possibly. Yeah, definitely. That's right. We, we lost um, Sam to injury. Yes, Sam Shadda, the captain, and Dushan Rasevic as well. He pulled up a hamstring strain, so the, the team's looking a bit loose right now. The fatigue's maybe setting in, um, but hopefully we can just group together. We've got snow on Friday night, which is it's always a tough place to go. I don't think we've had a, a win there in a good number of years. I think it's been th four years or something since we've, we've beaten SNU on the road. Um, so it's going to be a tough game up there, but hopefully we 
can group together, take the win from yesterday and hopefully keep winning. Talk about you a little bit. You're a big golf fan, I guess, or like to play golf? Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, I kind of come from a family of golfers. My, it was actually my, my gran that taught me how to play. Um, they were living in the south of France at the time, and she took me out to the backyard and taught me how to play. And my granddad plays, my uncle and cousin both play a lot, and I've kind of been brought up, um, you know, just playing it leisurely. Um, foot, football and soccer is obviously the, the main sports I like, but yeah, it's good. Um, the home of golf is uh, Scotland, so it's, it's a, a good thing to take part in. And I'm sure you're aware of what happened with the Ryder Cup uh, competition this yeah. last weekend, and Colin Montgomery, a, a Scottish hero, yeah, yeah, uh, captain of their winning Ryder Cup team. Yeah, it was, it was exciting for uh, the European team, especially with uh, Monty being the captain. Um, it was, it's always good to get a win against America, you know. It, it doesn't normally happen, but it was good to see the European team uh, come out on top, get the win. They, just, they scraped by, but it was good to see the win. They've been winning uh, a lot more of the Ryder Cups over the last few yeah. years. Uh, That's so. true. I mean, coming from a small nation like Scotland, you don't, you don't normally get a, a, a lot of uh, victories, but when we team together with Europe, we seem to do okay. So it was good to see them beat the right. U.S. Danny, hey, thanks for coming out and being on the show. Good luck the rest of the season. Thanks very much for having me. All right. The USAO Drovers with a couple more road games coming up uh, at uh, Southern Nazarene University on Friday. And next Tuesday, they'll be at Oklahoma Baptist University. The men ranked 13th this week. They fall five spots after their loss to Oklahoma City University. But they're still the number one ranked team in the Sooner Athletic Conference. Thanks for joining us for this edition of In the Saddle with Drover Sports. us on this week's show. You can catch us three different ways each week, so don't miss us next week. We'll see you on October 16th here at Drover Pitch for the Drover's next home game. And of course next week on In the Saddle. You got to move